Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna show you how I made this hyperpop type melody, this hyperpop type loop that you heard in the beginning. Before we start, if you want this loop and many more, uh, go over to the first link in the description. You can get uh, all my loop kits there. Um, and now let's dive right into it. So for the structure in this loop, we got a synth. Another synth. An arpeggiator. A lead melody. A vocal loop. And the bass. So for the melody in this loop, I went for the chord progression 1, 6, 7 in the scale of A minor. So that would be A, F, G. So this right here is your A chord, your A minor chord. And all I did was I pitched down the E that was actually over here. I pitched it down an octave. Then I went to the F chord, the F major chord, and I pitched down the C and the A. And then over here I went to the G major chord and I pitched down the D and the B as well. So the C and the A would actually be like this. And I just pitched them down an octave. And over here the D and the B, they would actually be like this. But I pitched them down an octave. You might notice that even though I pitched them down, I still kept them over here. That's, that is just because it sounded better to me, it makes it sound more full and uh, has a better transition from the first chord to the second chord because the C is like the same, so it transitions better. Alright, then I just copied it over and I took out some um, chords over here just to give it a bit more rhythm. I also randomized the velocities of the notes just to give it a bit more bounce. And then I copied this chord progression over um, to this other synth. This is exactly the same MIDI. Then over here on the ARP, I took out all the rhythm of the chords and just let the chords play um, all the way through. Then over here we got our lead. This is the lead melody I came up with. Um, if you want to know how I make my lead melodies, um, you can go watch my other tutorial. I have it pop up in the top right corner now. Um, I go more in depth in that tutorial. Um, a quick little recap on how I do that is I have my um, melody, my bass melody in A minor and then I press around on the white keys on my MIDI keyboard and see what sounds good basically. But if you want to know that in more detail, go ahead and watch this other tutorial. After that I got this vocal loop right here. I found this in some one shot kit, I don't quite remember which one, but uh, it's very dope. And then to round everything off, I got this uh, bass right here. This is just using the bass notes, the root notes from the chords. So A, F, G, A, F, G over and over again. For effects, I only used uh, reverb and EQ on basically every sound. So just a reverb and a basic EQ to cut out the lows. And I got that on every sound. So EQ, reverb, and here again, reverb, uh, EQ. And this is the ARP. Uh, for the ARP I added a fruity stereo enhancer and used the preset for strings because it makes it play on the sides rather than in the middle and um, this gives the whole loop a bit more room, a bit more ambience, a bit more space. And there you go, you have your hyperpop melody. For these type of melodies you want to use like a real um, rough synth. So the presets that I used are the following. So for the first sound I got this saw synth in Serum right here. The second sound is also a saw synth but another variation. The arpeggiator is from Electra X. 
in the default like presets it's from the op single layer um, bank this preset right here then for the lead I used another serum sound right here it's from uh, this guy's preset bank <laughs> and then the bass is from synthetics adapt serum bank there you go that's uh, how you make a hyper pop melody hope you enjoyed uh, leave a like subscribe comment on what y'all want to see next and um, see you guys again.